What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Bad Bunny collaboration with Adidas on this Response CL in this cream white colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETP windsoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and to me I find them very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the latest collaboration between Bad Bunny and Adidas, and they dropped alongside a yellow and red colorway as well, both pairs releasing on March 10th. So this pair retailed for a price of $160 US dollars or $230 here in Canada, and the colorway for this shoe is cream white, off white, and sand. So this Adidas Response CL is actually based off of an early 2000 Adidas running shoe, but it's been tweaked giving it a brand new tooling on the bottom, which incorporates a ton of different Adidas technologies. So honestly, it makes me feel that much older knowing that 2000 style is coming back in fashion. But for this specific Bad Bunny iteration, it has these overlays throughout the upper which has sort of a melted appearance to it, and according to the Adidas Confirmed app, this is supposed to represent the fluidity of his effortless style expression. Before we go in any further, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in a special edition box which is something I love. These small touches really make all the difference for a shoe's presentation. So printed on the top and on the sides, we have both the Adidas Tree Photo logo and the Bad Bunny logo. And printed on the side of the box it reads Bad Bunny. And another thing I liked about this box is that it opens up like this in the shelf style. And the shoes come packaged in this cotton dust bag, once again with both Adidas and Bad Bunny co-branding. As for the shoe itself, so the base layer of the sneaker, this is predominantly constructed out of this off-white colored mesh. We have a dark grey reflective hit right at the base on the bottom, and overlaid on top on either side we have this silver colored overlay with these 8 perforations on either side. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have what feels like a synthetic leather overlay with this white colored embroidery on either side at the tip. And the same material is found at the base of the shoe surrounding the bottom 3 eyelets, and we also have more of that white colored embroidery on top. Underneath this we have more of that visible mesh, along with these fuse overlays done in this wavy style. We have more of that wavy synthetic white leather running down the bottom, and you'll see throughout there's these small hits of white rubber which wrap down and onto the midsole, giving it more of that dripping or melted appearance. On the mid panel overlaid on top of the mesh, we have the Adidas 3 stripes constructed out of this TPU material, and this helps to give you added structure and support for the sides of the shoe. Moving downwards we have more of that wavy synthetic white leather, and then next to this we have more of that silver material that we saw earlier on the toe box. Moving on to the heel, so wrapping around the bottom we have more of that silver vinyl like material, and overlaid on top we have more of that white leather with white colored embroidery on either side. Above this we have this semi translucent TPU overlay with the Bad Bunny third eye logo, and the top of the heel is covered in this off white colored mesh. As for the laces, these come with these cream colored oval laces which matches the look of the shoe perfectly. Underneath this we have a mesh tongue which is a little bit thinner than I had expected. And at the top we have the Adidas logo pressed on in this grey coloured finish. The inner liner of the shoe is lined in this dark grey coloured textile, and then as for the insoles, the insoles are glued down onto the shoe, but this is a foam insole and it's done in this black coloured finish, but stamped on the heel we have both the Bad Bunny and the Adidas logo in white. So the upper of the Response CL sits atop this chunky midsole which is packed with Adidas tech. So the majority of the midsole is constructed out of Adaprene Plus material, which is a bit more of a sturdier and more responsive foam compared to normal Adaprene. So this midsole is painted in this vintage looking cream color, but the three stripes in the middle are painted in grey. On the heel we have your traditional Adaprene material, which is a bit softer than Adaprene Plus, and it helps more with impact protection. In addition, on the heel we have this gel-like wedge, and this is what Adidas calls their Form Motion heel design. And this form motion technology was actually used for Adidas running shoes, and this is supposed to help guide your foot to give you more of a smoother strike. Flipping the midsole over to the medial side, so they also incorporate what they call a Pro Moderator midsole. So this is essentially a layer of TPU, designed to improve motion control for those people that over pronate. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of Ada Wear Rubber. So the rubber is done in various shades, we have this dark grey, light grey and cream, and visible in the middle we have this torsion bar which helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe, and I'm sure you guys are wondering how do these fit, 
and overall I feel like they fit true to size perfectly. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I felt like this shoe was great for my wider feet, and the length of the shoe was perfect. There was just about a finger's width between the top of the shoe and the top of my toe, which to me I find is the ideal amount of space. So long story short, whatever your foot actually measures as on a Brannock device, that's the same size that I would go for for this pair. Next up in terms of the comfort, so this shoe is very comfortable. It makes sense considering they packed a whole bunch of different technologies within this shoe. I'd be pretty surprised and pretty disappointed if they were uncomfortable. With that said, it feels a little bit bottom heavy. The reason for that is because the upper is just mostly lightweight mesh, but the midsole underneath and the outsole has just so much going on in it. But by lacing up my shoe properly, I didn't notice it too much on foot. With that said though, the comfort on this shoe is a good balance of softness, support, and responsiveness. Like I mentioned before, with Adaprene Plus on the forefoot, the forefoot area feels very responsive and bouncy, and at the same time, on the heel area, it's a bit thicker than the forefoot, and by incorporating normal Adaprene, when you land on your heels or just walk on your heels just to test it out, you can feel the shock absorption and the softness of the heel. One thing to note though is if you're someone that underpronates or someone that rolls your ankles outwards, then this shoe might not be the best for you. I know this is probably not going to be worn for running or anything like that, but because of this pro moderator insert on the midsole, it's a bit stiffer on this medial side, so this shoe almost wants you to roll your foot a bit more outwards. So I didn't want to get all technical with you guys, but it's something to note if you're someone that underpronates. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so the material quality I thought it wasn't anything special. The majority of the upper I felt like it was all synthetic materials, everything from the mesh to these silver overlays, and the leather felt very synthetic as well, but it's kind of what you expect coming from an early 2000s running shoe. With that said though, the overall build on this shoe I thought it was fine, it wasn't perfect, there were some extra long threads I had to trim off myself, but for the most part it was free of glue stains, the paint job I thought was solid, so overall it wasn't bad at all. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. To me, this is a Bad Bunny collaboration that I was very excited about. It's not the typical shoe that I would gravitate towards, but for some reason both this one and the yellow and red colorway, I love both of those pairs. In fact, Canada didn't even get the yellow colorway, so I actually paid resale for those and I bought those on StockX. So hopefully those arrive soon and maybe I'll give you guys a review of that one too. But overall, I just gotta say this collaboration, I thought it was very dope. This is a very fun and playful take on an early 2000s running shoe, and for someone like myself that lived through that era, it's cool to see them bringing back that style and making it fashionable to wear for lifestyle use. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bad Bunny Adidas Response CL. What are your overall thoughts on this design and this whole collab? And between this one and the yellow pair, which of the two do you guys prefer? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8 for my photos. Check me out on Twitter as well at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.